2014 Super Aeronautique 210. Interior deck color and main stripe are silver cloud. Accident stripe is blue metallic with an onyx black hull. Optioned on this, uh, you have the 35% window tint, premium oversized mirror, pair of tower speakers, they are six by nines, pair of swivel board racks. Swivel board racks and speakers have been color matched blue, metallic, and black. Optioned with the Pro Ballast system and NSS, which is the Nautique Surf system. We have the black Chromax decaling. So all of your Super Air Nautique uh, decaling around the boat is in black Chromax. Beautiful walk through to get in and out of the boat. It makes it very family friendly. We've gone around the exterior. Let's go ahead and jump on the inside, take a look at the interior features, and then do some running video. All right, now to the interior of the uh, 2014-210. Like I said on the walk around video, really nice walk through here from the transom platform area. Uh, nice step down in. There's a pad that covers that section right there if you'd want, snaps in so you have a full bench crossed or the way it is right now where you have a nice walk, th walk through all the way in and out of the boat. Lift your back two hatches here. You see we have the insert. That is because we have this option with the Pro Ballast system, which gives it the hard tank along with a soft bag underneath. Do a quick little remove of that. You can see the hard tank is the plastic uh, out there on the outer edge, and then you have the uh, soft bag right there full, full right now. Great area for your life jackets and wet stuff like that lift our engine hatch you can see that we have optioned this with uh, the PCM 5.7 liter 343 horsepower PCM motor got a little update on the look for 2014 nice little accents that, that fun stuff that make it a nautique you can see here, uh, I'll show you a couple different spots, but you have all of your hinges, or all of your uh, storage compartments and everything like that sitting on gas shocks uh, or hinges, so you're not having to hold things up by hand. Come in to the interior. Starboard side bench flips up. We have the full boat cover uh, stowed away in there right now. On the port side, the bench flips up as well. Another nice spot for storage. You can see the removable cooler right there. Coming up the underneath the passenger side seat for storage. Sitting on hinges like I said before. Nice storage up this. And then all the way at the front left. You nice, nice amount of space for all of your needs. Actually, while I'm looking at this, we have the uh, cooler, which is accessible from the walkthrough itself. Really nice uh, functional uh, option to the boat. Comes standard on the boat. Um, nice and useful. Looking down in our glove box. You can see that we have, you know, non-skid sea deck down there, so your phone or whatever is in here doesn't go fly, flying around. Also, you can see that we have the new Polk, Polk Audio head unit, Sirius XM ready, and it is also uh, Bluetooth. So just connect your phone Bluetooth or any device through Bluetooth, and you don't have to have cords uh, connecting to the boat to run your own personal music. If you do want to do that, you have a USB port right here with the 12 volt outlet power outlet right there come over to the dash you can see we have the auxiliary input right there with the 12 volt right there for that as well staying over here at the dash battery compartment right here 
So you sit down, forgot to turn on your batteries, you don't have to go all the way back to the back. You got the Link 2 screen, which gives you, um, which runs everything on the boat, uh, except for starting it, which is the keyless pad below it, which has your stop, your horn, your nav lights, your blower, your bilge, and then your keyless ignition right there. Type in your code, press start, and you're off. Coming back up to the screen, you have your nav, music, user settings, um, uh, internal switches for uh, courtesy lights. This one has overhead lights, the heater, the seat heater. Um, if you had docking lights or underwater lights, this is where you'd also find those. And then your ballast. And then all of the internal functions of that individual screen is done down this right hand side. So you're on this one, you have your fill and drain buttons. Come back to your main screen, and then you can actually change the view. You can see I have 1.9 hours, 48 air temp, and a 43 water temp. Let's go ride. Uh, we do not have the um, navigation uh, optioned on this one. It is an upgrade that you can purchase and, and add on if you'd like. Um, it gives you GPS cruise control system, and it gives you uh, the maps. There's your ballast. And then video playback, then back to your home screen. Two tins have the hydrogate system, so you can really uh, change the wake around, making it ramp when it's forward or making it vert when it's back, steep and, and rampy. I've optioned this with the heater defroster. <clears throat> There's the air dam. It is a slide-in air dam. Nice bow filler cushion. Your two bow speakers. Premium oversized mirror. And like I said on the walk around, we have the spinner racks and the two tower speakers. Now we've gone around the interior. Let's go ahead and jump on the exterior, or let's go watch some running video of this uh, 2014 210. If you have any questions, give Michael a call at N3Boatworks, 317-845-9253, or email michael at n3boatworks.com.